I'm trying currently to create a campaign for Deadlands. I'm going to do something now that I wasn't planning originally to do. That's not really to, uh, you know, basically what I said at first was I'm just going to do the settings, then I'll get into the role playing systems and the books. Now, the Deadlands version I have, and I have touched on this briefly before, runs under the GURPS system, the Generic Universal Role Playing System. Okay? I've been reading through. The Deadlands, finds part, the Deadlands part is fine. I don't have a problem with it. It's great, in fact. I'll come to the setting in my next, in my next video. Um. I've been reading through the character creation rules for GURPS 4th edition. Before this goes on, I apologise for the lighting. I'm doing this at night. There's no natural light in here. So if it's a bit dark, I'm, you know, sorry. I just need to have a round. I need to get this out of my system. Uh, for anybody who's not a role player, this is going to come across as very RP centric and very nitpicky. Okay, so if you do want to watch, bear with it, and uh, you know I'll, I'll try and explain things, and uh, you know, and, and what's going on uh, as we get to them. So hopefully, I can keep you halfway entertained with my pain. Um, Gerb's fourth comes with two books, one of which is the characters. There you go with a very likely Conan Barbarian on the front, because GURPS 3rd actually did have a Hyboria Conan campaign. Do apologise for the reflections, that's my PC and my camera. I will try and relocate the next few videos, just to keep it entertaining. The second book you get is... The GURPS Campaigns! And this gives you the rules you need to run the system as a Games Master. Just to compare something here, right? <sighs> this book here, this one, is character generation. This book here is is system rules. <clears throat> right? Okay. What's my problem? What's my problem with it? Nobody I know who I want to play Deadlands with actually has the GURPS books. Not because it's a bad system. It's just finicky, right? I thought, I can cope with this. Now, the problem is, right, you want to start a campaign. You want to start this campaign. You want to get into an adventure with your mates at a club. Yeah, sorry, I'm going to put this down because I'm going to do something stupid with it in a minute if I don't. Now, you know, now, the problem being that if you've only got one book, character creation, a uh, generation, if nobody knows what they're doing, can take forever. You know, I know of character creations for, you know, books like this. The, you know, some of the original sort of systems, you know, before the re editions were revised, it took, like, fucking eight hours to just do a single character because you didn't know what the flaming hell you were doing. Now... I wouldn't mind too much if this was the case. I would, but it's actually quite obvious what you're doing in here. It's really very obvious. The problem is that, you know, ah, oh. okay. First of all, what what's this? You know, without going into the system, I'm not going to go into the system at all. This book, for me, is a great looking book. It's hardback. It's bound very very nicely, right? You know, it's very sturdy. It feels good. It feels good to hold. I like the look of it. You know, it's a very solid book. You know, it's got the first, the intro page. I don't know if you can see this very easily, especially my fingers over it. The, the intro, whip, the intro page. You know, it's nicely illustrated. It's coloured. You know, as a lot of modern games basically are. Um, you know, and the actual layout of the actual book, it's got a very nice clean feel to it. And as you can see with this box of it, you know, quick rules, all this sort of stuff. Uh, it's got a very nice sort of layout. Um, to a point. I'll try not to keep this video too long, because as I said, this is a rant. 
some sections of this book have a uh, little sort of... Um, you know how they do this in magazines, where they sort of like get an important quote, and it's sort of... Uh, you know, you know they, they sort of intersect the columns in your magazine with, with this quote. This does a similar sort of thing, and I'm not, I'm not going to take the time to pull up an example, but because a lot of the headers are also, also intersect, like the new sections, like you go from character generation to wealth, uh, as, that's a bad example, but the idea is that you have character generation, that'll run halfway down the page, and suddenly you'll hit the wealth uh, you know, section, and that'll run for the, net, for the last third of the page. Okay, this is going to sound really nitpicky. But the fact is that when you've been reading through as many RPG books as most people probably have, uh, if you're a role player, and then, you know, you're not used to this. You're not used to it going, you know, used to just having a nice flow. It's you, They usually set out in three co- three centric columns, and, you know, basically, there's a heading here, you read down, there's a heading here, you read down, there's a heading here, you read down, and so on and so forth. So you know that you're always going down and across. Now, GURPS just changes this up. Completely fucking, excuse me, needlessly, because, like I said, you've got these headers. You go down, and suddenly there's a, there's a great big sodding thing intersecting your page. So instead of going down, you know, you're going, you're crunching against this thing every time. Yeah, and I know this sounds really petty and pathetic, okay? Um, but the fact is that when you're trying to create a character, when you're really trying to concentrate on what you're doing, the last thing you want to do is to be, you know, is to actually uh, have your train of thought broken by a stupid bloody header in the wrong place. And to make matters worse, the bloody, um, the bloody cut-ins that they do to uh, highlight an important quote or rule it looks so much like the headers when you're actually, you know, you got your nose down and reading it, that it looks exactly the same. So therefore, you know, you think, ah, I've got it this time, I'm not going to keep reading it down, I'm going to read across. It doesn't work then. And again, it breaks your... Oh. Anyway, um... Right. Another thing this book does well, and you probably can't... Oh, well, you can just... You see here on the bottom of the page, the page, you can just about make out the colouring. Um, not very well. You can just make it out in reds and blues, really. Um, but what they've actually done is you can just about... And at the top of the spine as well. Um, is that they've actually coloured the different sections. So, you know, the first red part is character creation. Then you've got uh, advantages and disadvantages. Um, skills... Uh, I'm going to have to hurry this up because I don't have a lot of time. <sighs> Maybe this will run on. The skills look like this, right? These are advantages. When you made your character, you pick advantages to try and sort of, you know, he's a gunslinger. Right, so what do you need? You need ambidexterity to say, I can wield two guns, and then you, you know, and maybe fast draw and all this stuff. <laughs> this is going to run on. I'm sorry, this rant is going to run on simply because I need to get this off my chest. Um, and I, I. <sighs> okay. There are three core types of advantages in nearly any role playing system that has them. Social, physical, and mental. They mean exactly what how what they sound like. A social advantage allows you to your characters to operate better in a uh, in a public uh, you know in a social environment with other people. Be a public speaker, a politician, social, right? Mental is you know it's anything from sort of uh, quick thinking to wizardry. Physical is sort of uh, how well you can wield your sword. Simple as that. They just help your character along, so you can make the character your own. And uh, before this gets any further, I'm really pissed off. I'm going to have to break this, but okay. From I'm going to have to go into a part two with this. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in a moment.